Hey everyone, so the new update for Remno is now officially live and we've got some really amazing new features to share. Yep, so we'll leave timestamps on the screen here if you wanna skip around, but let's just go ahead and get right to it. We're now introducing code blocks. In any document, simply type forward slash code and then enter to insert a code block. Tabbing while inside the code block will indent the marker and typing enter will create new lines without bullets. So it's a slightly different editor experience inside the block, but very useful if you're writing code. You can also view a drop down menu on the bottom right corner of the box to open up your syntax language options. We have a wide variety of options to choose from, from HTML to JavaScript. For example, I'll select JavaScript and you can see it will automatically reformat the content in the block. And there's also a really nice copy snippet to your keyboard function right next door. And you can of course include any code block into a rem flashcard as well. Next, we have some very nice improvements to text formatting. You can now apply multiple pieces of formatting to any text, reference, link, or close. And this is a very nice update from before when you only had one kind of format available for any piece of text. So for example, I'll bold or underline, italicize, highlight all at once. And as you can see, this also works on references, close, and links as well. Another new feature included in the update is the ability to edit links. For example, I'll copy the current URL and paste it into this document here. And now we'll just go ahead and edit right directly in the link while still preserving the final destination of the link. You can now also customize closes in your rem. So previously, each close you generated would have been turned into its own flashcard. But now, you have the option to merge closes together so that you have multiple instances of close for the same flashcard. This allows you to create more complex fill-in-the-blank type responses. RemNote now also automatically enables right-to-left support for languages if the characters are typed into the title of a document. For example, we'll copy and paste some Hebrew characters into the title and it will automatically convert to right-to-left. Additionally, we've added some improved support for Chinese, Japanese, and double character languages. So softline breaks is something I've been really excited about. If you press shift enter, it no longer creates a portal. Instead, you can use it to create a softline break. But if you still wanna create a portal, all you do is press control shift enter. The in-document queues feature is one of the biggest and most unique improvements to Remnote. You can now create a queue in any portal for a quick focus study session. The queue will also remain in the document until deleted, and you can continue editing in the document around the portal. Additionally, you can also share the document with a friend or a colleague, and the in-document portal will follow. And as your friend studies the rem inside the document's queue, it will also be directly added to their existing knowledge base as well. This is one of the first iterations of collaborative sharing and studying that we hope to continue building upon. We've also updated the tutorials page in RemNote to include more walkthroughs and links. These are gonna to link to the RemNote tutorial video series, which are great for newcomers, and you can access them on the bottom left of the sidebar. And of course, overall polishes can be appreciated across the board, and this should enhance your overall workflow and experience with RemNote. All right, thanks guys. That's all for this update. We've been loving all the feedback and support from our community. Yep, and definitely consider joining our Discord or reaching out on Twitter if you have suggestions for future updates or if you have any questions. We'll see you next time.